Hey guys, good morning. It's 6.30 and I just woke up. I need to get ready for my flight. My showtime today is at 9 a.m. for a 10.30 departure. As of late, it's been pretty difficult to find a parking spot, so today I'm just going straight to the top level. I don't feel like going around in circles. So it is currently 7.45 on Sunday morning, and today I'm heading off for a one-day trip, and I'll be working three flights. So from Montreal to Povonitok, and then Povonitok to La Grande and back to Montreal. I'll be working on a 737-200 Combi, so we're going to be carrying a little bit of passengers and a whole lot of cargo. So I'm going to try and show you guys what a Combi aircraft looks like in the flesh. So I'm just about to uh, go into my check-in, go through security, and I will see you guys inside. Bye! Traveling is picking up again. Look at all these people. I'm happy to see that things are slowly starting to go back to normal. Now let's just hope that there won't be too many people at Starbucks. Oh my god, this is taking forever. I've been in this line for 30 minutes and they ran out of everything. I'm going to be so late. So I made it right on time, 9 a.m. on the nose, whew! As we're going to the aircraft, our ground personnel is loading all this precious cargo in the front of the plane. The passenger cabin is located in the back. There are no roads to go up north and all the foods and most supplies have to be flown in, which explains why everything costs so much money and why there's so much food insecurity. If you want to see how expensive it actually is, check out the video I'm putting a link for at the top of your screen. You'll see what I mean. the cargo is loaded, our security and pre-flight checks are done, we can board our passengers and be on our way. For this leg, we're completely full. So after a 2 hour and 20 minutes flight at 35,000 feet, we have arrived in Povonitok. All of the cargo has been offloaded and it will be dispatched to other communities via our cargo network. It's quite an impressive operation.
is the Pavone Turk Terminal. We have the arrivals area, a waiting lounge and a check-in counter. Air Inuit is the only airline flying here. In the middle of the terminal, we find this gorgeous sculpture by Peter Kumaluk Itukala showing an Inuk person with a polar bear, or Nanuk, standing on a traditional Inuit sleigh. Closing up the cargo door, we're now ready to head back south. During those crazy times, our service on board may be limited, but it's always with great pleasure that I keep on pushing this trolley and interact with our passengers. We're now in La Grande, situated on the James Bay. Our passengers have to go through airport security checkpoint before we head off to our final destination, Montreal. again so it is currently 6 15 and i just got back into my car we landed a little bit earlier than scheduled technically we should be landing pretty much right about now so we got here about half an hour early by the time we you know got off the aircraft and got to the parking lot and so and so i really hope that you've enjoyed coming to work with me today and that you like the images that i was able to capture for you so i want to thank you guys for uh, coming to work with me and i really hope you've enjoyed the day don't forget to subscribe to my channel to try and put new videos out every week. Like the video and comment as well because I want to hear from you. Until then, thank you so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye!